So I'm going to do a unboxing and installation of a Tiger tonneau cover on a 2016 F-150 with a 5.5 foot box. So this is, this is the free light that they give with you, or give to you with the purchase. Something that I guess you mount in your truck somewhere. I don't know how well it's going to be, but as you see, we already got lights inside the truck. Mountain hardware, instructions. Tunnel cover comes in this nice bag here. I'm guessing that's to protect it during shipping. Here's all our material and going to go through, look at the instructions here real quick, just to get an idea of how they want me to install it and be right back. Alright, so step one it says place the town cover on the back part of the bed and then loosen the screws in the bulkhead which are these guys right here this bit here goes into the rail this sits like that so they're already loose and then the next step is to Get my side reel and then attach it like so. I just came across something that I wasn't expecting. I put these bull rings on my truck for more tie down points and whatnot. However, put it on the rails, they become useless. So that's something to think about. Don't buy those if you're planning on putting a tile cover on because you lose the whole point. I'm trying to attach the side rail to the bulkhead here, but I'm going to have to take up the slack a little bit more. It's pretty close, but something that's Taking a few more minutes. All right, so I got both rails attached, as you can see, and uh, there's a little bit of a gap in this factory side rails of plastic spray and bed liner, but underneath. There's a gap, and this came in the kit 
So the question I'm having that I'm trying to figure out is, do I take this added extra seal and stick it to the Linex coating on top of the bed all the way across? Or should I stick it to the actual pad here? Now one train of thought is, if, I, if I'm gluing it to here, then this is always gonna have some moisture retention because of the, the rain a lot longer. This area here, with the glue stuck to this, won't have as much and less likely to have any water and less likely to uh, I guess come undone uh, compared to here. Obviously, this is textured, and yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll do a test piece to see how well it sticks to here, and then this in itself can conform into it, all the little texture. So they both seem to stick well, whether it's to here or the Linex liner um. So, after putting this additional piece on, takes up the gap, gives it an opportunity to seal better all the way across. So it wants me to measure six to eight inches from here to put these clamps in. Six to eight, right around here. I just realized while putting this in that this piece here goes up inside this cavity, not on the edge right here. Didn't know that until now. So, Good. Could do some adjustments. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a gap right there. It looks pretty, pretty good, but except for that bit right there, not sure why. Oh. I think it'll be alright.
arched supports. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Just want to do an update. I did adjust this section here by replacing this bracket closer to the end, which closed the, the gap that I had before. Other than that, this is winter here in Minnesota and it's held up. No real issues with it whatsoever. Close the tailgate. It's kind of bright with the sun, but yeah, it's holding up real well. And you can open, close the tailgate without having any issues. As you see in the photo, some water here that was through a car wash, and. Now my bed is a little bit dirtier because of the winter, but it doesn't really leak at all. It's it's doing well. So hope this helps.